proteins and larger molecules can be analysed using mass spectrometry. We use an ionisation technique called moulding, matrix-assisted laser desorption ionisation. This is achieved by first taking a 10 milligram vial of our matrix, in this case CHCA, and we're going to dissolve that matrix in a solvent. So first we're adding uh, half a mil of acetonitrile, and then we're going to add half a mil of 0.1% trifluoroacetic acid. And this is to just add some acidity to our solution. This solution is what's used to actually initiate the ionization process later on when we run the sample within the mass spectrometer. Now, the CHCA doesn't dissolve very well within this acetonitrile uh, TFA mixture, and so what we do is we just give it a shake, and we also put it on um, a little device which puts vibrations through it and helps that solid to dissolve into solution. So now we've prepared our matrix solution, we have to add some of our matrix solution to our protein sample. In this case, we've got part of the angiotensin hormone. So we've added some of the matrix solution to that. And again, we put it on the vibration just to help bring that protein into solution. On one of these sample plates, we dot our sample onto the little circles. In this case, we're dotting uh, four of the same sample. And now this is ready for insertion into the machine. So we eject the old plate from the machine, the last run sample, and we slide in our new plate. This goes into the mass spectrometer and then it's put under a high vacuum. We select which sample we want to analyze first and a camera allows us to see inside of the apparatus on a screen um, our particular sample. So this is the plate just being moved and we're going to turn on the accelerating voltage and then ionize our sample by pressing that button there which turns on the laser beam. You can see that flashing and that is the pulses of the laser ionizing some of our sample. And then these ions travel through this long tube in the mass spectrometer and get separated out by their mass or their mass to charge ratio. We then end up with data where we can see the mass of our protein and we can also see many other peaks from our matrix itself.